Just ask Rock. Social factors like poverty, education, or trauma and op trauma often predict violence better than testosterone levels. You can't use serum testosterone to predict aggression. It's like you can have you can have a man with like top tier testosterone, and he'll be like that guy in the vape shop, and you have a dude with like super low testosterone. And he's like flipping his shit. And again, like low testosterone, it can be associated with, uh, let's see. High, high levels of, of aggression. Studies show testosterone can increase in competitiveness, risk-taking, and reactive aggression in certain contexts. And active aggression. Also, it increases cooperativeness and fairness. And so like the annoyance, your testosterone is really low, right? And, you, and they, they tested their testosterone all day through saliva samples, tested it all day. And uh, and then once they brought down a, a taper, they got this massive flood of testosterone, right? And then immediately on the heels of that, a massive flood of oxytocin, right? Which is the bonding hormone, right? Which connects you with your wife and your children and your family. Right? And then the oxytocin reminded them of the wife and wives and children back home. They took the trouble to lug it back home. And then they divided it fairly between the two of them so that they could ensure. Right? So it's like it, all of this is absolutely 100% perfect. And, and they, they coast on that testosterone high for a few days until the meat's starting to run out. And then they start getting irritable. They start having problems sleeping. And then they go knock on Barney Rubble's door and say, hey, you want to come out with me and hunt?